Good morning, it is Sunday. We are headed to church. Woke up this morning feeling super worried. First thing we did was check the radar. Yeah, it looks like the uh, hurricane models are differing uh, between Quite the American and the Euro. Uh, the Euro actually has the storm coming in directly, a direct hit at us. Uh, the American is showing it going up into the panhandle. Either way, uh, the storm looks like it's going to be pretty strong and is certainly going to affect us. Uh, obviously, we are uh, not looking forward to or wanting a direct impact, but... Uh, or any. Yeah, or any. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really scary. Yeah, it's so scary. We've worked so hard to get this boat and do all the right things, check the boxes. We got it here safely on literally day one of hurricane season, June 1. So something going wrong with this storm could literally sink our plans in our boat before we ever get off the dock, so. Yeah, just uh, just walked Dixie before, uh, while Emily was getting ready and there's just kind of this eerie like yeah, feel here at the around. marina. Um, you got some people that are out taking their sails down. There was a, a guy over here taking off his bimini top. Yep, we um, saw one last night at like 10 o'clock, a guy taking his sail off. Yeah. So we're Definitely gonna be doing the same. Definitely an eerie feeling and, and kind of uh, morale around the, around the marina, which I guess is probably to be expected. I feel like that's the least, we can't stay here. I'm really nervous about this storm. We can't stay where we are and we can't go to St. Pete. I know. I'm very nervous about it too. You have insurance, folks? I do have insurance, yes. Okay. I, I have, I have, but we were gonna... I have plenty of insurance, but the, 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 it comes down to, I, I've got to make a decision right now. Do I, do we hunker down or do we run, run for Miami? And every minute that we wait or or don't make that decision is precious time. Yeah, okay. So, the generator. You don't have a generator. I don't have a generator. Hey bud. Oh, you like being a boat owner. Oh, I'm I'm worried. Yeah. I am too. That's why I'm moving my boat. Man. <clears throat> my I'm I'm so nervous with the Euro models putting the, the eye coming in right over top of us. The the US model is putting us, you know, into Pensacola like you said. So it's a major yeah. difference between the two models. And the, the reason why if you care, I'll tell you. Yeah. Right. And no one freaking knows. I need to make the phone call about the generator and figure out what's going on with it. Um, we also need to know about insurance. Is our insurance going to cover us? If we leave the dock. If we leave the dock. But so, everything uh, is on our boat, so we don't want an insurance claim. <laughs> right. Yeah. But, but you don't want to lose your boat either, or more importantly, lose your life. So. Right. All right, we just left church early, um, just trying to figure out the preps for this storm. We've gone across the bridge to another marina that uh, we think would be a little more protected if we were to stay here because they have a better seawall and just better overall dockage. So we're about to walk in now and see if we can talk to someone uh, and see if they do have a slip for us that we could stay here for a couple days if we do indeed um, decide to stay in town. Cole's still talking to Les and trying to figure out okay. the game plan. He's getting his boat ready to leave in about an hour. Um, and at 11 o'clock, he has a crew coming to take his boat um, down to the Keys and then around yeah. toward Miami, Fort Lauderdale area. So we're talking to him about potentially doing the same thing just to yeah. hopefully try to outrun this storm, yeah. which right. sounds let even me, silly uh, to say me, because we're in a sailboat and you don't outrun anything in a sailboat, but given 
the uh, couple days we have ahead of time, we're thinking we could get down there and get hunkered down before the storm uh, really gets closer to us. We actually kind of ran over across the, the river there, and I don't like the way it's set up and looking, and so I ran over here to see what uh, what we might be able to, if we could bring it over. So I've got a message out to Cynthia, and she said for me to check out B5. She thinks that that would be the slip that would be open. I know Cole and I know he's putting pressure on these guys here to at least give us the option to move our boat here for the storm because we do believe it would be more protected than we are at our current slip in our marina. We have no protection coming from behind us. So when those winds come in, um, we're gonna be seeing a, a direct hit. Um, this is the boat slip here behind me that we're looking at. And here's the seawall. I mean, look at this nice big seawall here in the buildings behind me, downtown Bradenton. Hopefully block some of that wind to protect our boat. We're expecting we're gonna be taking the sails down. <laughs> uh, such a pain because we literally just got these serviced, had them both taken down the mainsail and the headsail to get some routine maintenance done. Tie up the telltales and put them back on and here we are. Gonna be figuring out how to take those down. Um, so they don't get damaged from all the wind we're expecting to see. Right, so we came across to the other side of the river um, w from where our existing slip is to the other marina. It's got a little better seawall and it's floating docks, which is a big deal. Um, they're really nice new docks. So uh, we have secured a slip here uh, that we can move into for the week. And I'm feeling that that is our best option if we're going to stay here. So. Uh, we're gonna we bought ourselves some time. We're gonna make the call here in just a little while. Um, I got a phone call coming in right now. Let's see, let's see. Oh, it's cool. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Um, yeah. So we are uh, we bought ourselves a little bit of time. We know that we have a better slip situation over here if we're gonna stay. Uh, there still is the possibility of leaving tonight or today and going to Miami, um, but that's a, a trip that I really am dreading because our generator is not fully hooked up yet. It's operational, but not fully hooked up, and um, I am still I still have a small issue with the port engine losing coolant, so I am not sure that I want to leave for Miami. Hi there, do you have a boat slip available for a 43 foot length overall sailing catamaran? Uh, are we looking for long term or short term? Uh, just a week to ride out the storm. We're in Palmetto and just not feeling comfortable where we are in our boat slip. We're not protected, so just trying to get out of the way. I hear you. No, unfortunately, we're not taking any transients for the storm. Okay, do you know of anyone uh, in the area who is? Um, what's your beam? It is 24, 24 feet. Okay, With I a, wanna say the only, the only ones in our area that could be able to accommodate something like that is gonna be the Naples Sailing and Yacht Club. Okay, are they a private yacht club? Um, I, I, know they, I know they have deals with reciprocals of the club, but I'm, it being summer, they might be able to work in. I don't know, I really don't know how they operate their transient stuff. Okay, awesome, thank you, I'll give them a call. Alright, so I ordered some supplies on Amazon, expecting Prime to be here next day, and now I'm looking at the blow-up fenders that we ordered are not showing that they're going to be here in time. Uh, doesn't even show that they've been shipped, even though it said, you know, obviously next day delivery. Yeah, you so, ordered them, what, like three days ago? Uh, I ordered them, I'd say Sunday, I ordered them Friday. So, I don't know what the deal is there. We're not going to Key West, we're not going to Miami, no. we're not going north, Can't okay? Make it. No. So the only option we have right now, we have, we have two options. Plan A is going across the river to the other marina, which is safer. Plan B is going to Naples. We'll worry about putting a plan together for plan B tonight, okay? But in the meantime, 
we need to, I, the neighbors that just offered to come over and help take the sails down with us, all right? So we're gonna take the sails down, we're gonna get all of the uh, cushions put away and down into the bedrooms, all right? We're gonna start buttoning up everything outside. Thankfully, our neighbor next door has um, decided to help Cole take down the sail, so the guys are working on that right now. I mentioned earlier, super annoying because we literally just got these sails serviced uh, not long ago, like about a month ago. Um, so now they're coming back down, but we know it is a crucial part of it because we want to protect ourselves from the wind as much as possible and um, do as little to no damage to our boat as possible by making these preparations. Now I'm gonna start removing all the cushions that are outside and really just getting anything that could be blown away or tossed and turned in the wind, um, secured or removed and taken inside and stowed away. We just spent the uh, last few minutes tying down this sail bag. This is the main sail and uh, tying, it, tying it down. Now I'm gonna put the cover on the front of it. It goes around the mast here. And then I'm gonna tie it onto the mast uh, in hopes that it'll stay in place. It'll keep um, wind from coming into the sail bag and really hopefully messing with the, with the sail here. We wanna keep it as uh, aerodynam aerodynamic and uh, clean as possible. All right, we just got back from West Marine getting more lines and fenders to help secure the boat and We're also now getting ready for a TV interview. I had a reporter from WFLA in Tampa reach out to me last night about localizing the story uh, What storm preps look like when living on a boat that sort of thing um, as a former journalist I know how hard sometimes it can be to localize a story and put a face to it uh, when you're trying to to find faces for these major stories and developing stories like storms. So happy to help them out. We're getting ready to uh, talk to Trevor from WFLA here in a few minutes. Well, Jack and Allison, this marina has boats of all shapes and sizes, including this catamaran I'm on right here. You can kind of see it. it the, the owners here have been prepping for the storm all day, including wrapping up this sail right here. They just hope that by the time Ian passes over, this boat isn't in someone's front yard. We have worked hard for everything we own, and, and this could totally wreck it. Boat owners are strapping down for Ian. Our whole life is on this boat at this point in time. As of uh, a couple weeks ago, um, everything we own uh, is, is right so. there. Emily Kinzer Cruz and her husband Cole bought this sailing catamaran about four months ago, planning on spending the next two years on it, sailing the Caribbean and Atlantic. Unfortunately, with this impending storm, it could sink our boat before we ever leave the dock, and that's our biggest fear right now. They spent $600,000 in two years getting ready for this trip. Just feeling super nervous, and I would say a bit hopeless, too, because there's nothing we can do. We are not going to outrun any storm in this catamaran. We can't go farther down river because our mast is too tall, so we are literally stuck in this spot. They've offloaded their head sail and wrapped up the main sail bag. They plan on turning the boat around soon. We're putting all of our eggs into that that catamaran right there, and this storm is uh, has got us scared, for sure. They just hope other boat owners prep the same. Another thing we're worried about, too, is not just our boat being properly tied up, but other boats that maybe aren't properly tied up. Like, what's going to happen there? Are there going to be boats floating around here in the marina? We don't know. We sure hope not. You know the saying, it's not what you know, it's who you know? Uh, I just am super uh, thankful um, that my contact came through. You know, uh, this morning we went over across the river to the other marina over there, and nothing against our marina. We absolutely love our, our marina, but that it just... a little more protected. It, yeah, that one's a little bit more protected. So um, the that is actually heading... That's the south side of the... Of the 
um, river and we are expecting winds to come from the south southeast with the rotation of the storm so being over in that corner along with their awesome seawall over there and floating dock which is a new floating dock it's it's very heavy duty it's really nice um, the uh, that is just a better place to be. And thankfully we were able to get a slip over there. And so tomorrow we're gonna to move the boat over there. We've already got it pretty well prepped. We just gotta take down some more Isinglass. Um, but really, really happy to be able to move the boat over there and uh, get away because obviously it's a mile uh, fetch all the way across over here. And wind really other than the restaurant here um, to our, our left, the, the wind has no brakes, so we're super excited to be able to move the boat over there, and that's a good thing for Adventure Crew.